ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எபிசோட் ஃபோர் ஆஃப் முகமது யூசுஃப் கான் அலைஸ் மருதநாயகம் ஸோ யூசுஃப் கான் இஸ் நவ் பீன் கிவன் த இன்சார்ஜ் ஆஃப் போத் த ஃபினான்ஷியல் அண்ட் த மிலிட்ரி இன்சார்ஜ் ஆஃப் த ரீஜன் ஆஃப் மதுரை ஸோ மோதலி இஸ் நோ மோர் இன்சார்ஜ் ஃபார் கலெக்டிங் த ரெவன்யூ ஃப்ரம் த ரீஜன் ஆஃப் மதுரை நவ் ஆஸ் as you know already there's a huge troop of french has was arrived so the british are on their heels don't know when they are going to attack at uh, which point so uh, people have escaped and now cali could is now back to tiruchi in order to defend uh, tiruchi which could be the first possible attack po- from the french and the uh, escape mutineers uh, have now joined together barmutola has joined with mofus and uh, Haider tries to capture uh, Solavandan but it has been taken back again so Haider Ali goes back to Dindakal and uh, Yusuf now goes back to Tirunelveli to uh, crush Mofus and uh, takes back um, Kalakkad which was given to the Trivangur uh, king by the three musketeers as i referred previously and uh, he also has an uh, assassination attempt in Tirunelveli because there, there are some traitors who try to kill mohammed yusuf khan but he escapes from them luckily he also got gets an information that there is a french re- reinforcement as he has expected to reach dundukal and to help hyder ali in order to capture uh, uh, packets of uh, points or forts near madurai to conquer madurai and to cut off uh, connection between tirchi and tirunelveli there was a french troop under uh, monsieur altrek which came but unfortunately hyder ali has returned back to uh, stream by shiranga patinam in order to handle issues with maratha so the troops under uh, monsieur hastex goes back to pondicherry now uh, uh, yusuf khan had some free time uh, before uh, lali could come into count lali to come to, uh, can come to india so he builds up the fort around uh, madurai he restores the temples which had been damaged and uh, makes sure that revenue has been done on all points and uh, everybody is happy in madurai and now uh, yusuf khan has been asked uh, to join with uh, calicut because uh, count lali has just landed in india and at the very first next day he captured kadalur and the next day he captured fort st david and he was going at a very fast rate and he laid a siege on tanjavur tanjavur is as being the wealthiest part of uh, south india uh, it has been always a privy of both uh, the british and the french to capture it but uh, it was always an independent state uh, lying on both sides and now it is in trouble by the french so the english were ready to help tanjavur for so that it it can become their alliance in future now yusuf has to go via a city called uh, called redid uh, which he has to cross in order to get into uh, Uh, in, to get into Tanjavur and this uh, city was having a very good defense Yusuf and Calicut together broke the defense and uh, they reached uh, Tanjavur on time in order to he had to lift the siege and uh, he was taken back to Pondicherry but after this it took 18 months for lali to uh, start an uh, expedition to lay siege on chen madras which was sufficient for uh, the people in madras to build up a huge defense and uh, they were ready for lali to arrive at any point now uh, lali uh, along with his subordinates started from uh, madras and he made a blunder by not capturing chengalpattu which is a small city or a town uh, which is closer to chennai and in here there is a very huge reinforcement which was waiting to supply troops and uh, provisions to uh, madras in case of siege and uh, calicut who came to nagapatnam and took a sea route and reached chengalpet and he was asking the help from uh, thiruvang uh, tanjavur king uh, who hesitated and he uh, because the french are on the rise with lali and uh, sofia but uh, the english has helped them uh, and he was not ready to give any troops to them so uh, yusuf uh, started collecting troops all on his way from tirchi and on south tamil nadu and was marching towards uh, uh, madras but on the way there was a lot of loot which was done by yusuf and his team and lali was not quite happy about this and he complained that to governor pigot saying that uh, this is not fair and yusuf reached chengalpet and uh, lali uh, was trying to capture a small uh, town which i came to know just after reading this is called sadras just like madras it was a dutch settlement and uh, it was 
the map actually and it was quite interesting it's a small town which is between chengalpattu and chennai and uh, lali captured this so that he can be reinforced from pondicherry on sea uh, on this point and he can uh, go on his attack now yusuf was joined by an another uh, officer called as beston Preston, who we'll be seeing on the entire story from this point, and both of them are are asked to take up their European forces to Saint Thomas Mount, the famous Saint Thomas Mount in Madras, and to have a surprise with the French troop. But unfortunately, the French were giving surprise to the English because they were in a high, huge number than what they were, so they were retrieved back. to wandalur and uh, they were waiting for a right spot to attack so they came back to saint thomas river which is now the adaya river in madras and they were waiting there uh, for their uh, next uh, move but uh, as uh, so musia sofia knows that they were waiting he came down the hill and set up to attack uh, the troops which was uh, waiting there all the night and uh, they were being harassed a lot and they tried to escape and luckily it was briston who saved uh, yusuf khan and uh, they were uh, taken back on their defense and they decided that it is not possible to break into the uh, defense of pondicherry uh, sorry on uh, madras by lali so they took back the troops and went to kanjipuram and uh, they started to blunder the area around kanjipuram to collect some troops and uh, to have some money before they can come back on um, defense and the problem was they didn't had horses for the harassing party and uh, they thought it is needed for them to have something like this so preston took up this as an opportunity to go to arkad where he knows there are some horsemen who are ready to join his missionaries in his army and luckily he met abdul wahab who is brother of nawab and who has joined the french side but our uh, nawab's mother persisted uh, abdul wahab to join the british and to help his brother and luckily because of this uh, he got some horses and some men using this uh, preston and yusuf were mostly harassing the provisions which are coming from pondicherry to chennai like meat horse uh, cow goat and uh, things like that and uh, because of this uh, lali was really uh, irritated and uh, they were they were not getting the provisions properly because this has been raided all the time by either yusuf or by uh, uh, preston and kali cut now arrives to tanjavur with uh, to ask the king of tanjavur for special help directly but he was not ready to give anything so he came back empty handed uh, to chengalpet and they plan to attack sarda so that uh, it cannot be possible for uh, lali to have any of his provisions coming from pondicherry now uh, lali referred to yusuf only once in the entire uh, document saying they were like mosquitoes who came and they attack before they can sweep them off there was another set of mosquitoes who came and, and uh, attack them so it was like uh, the besiegers or the people who laid siege on chennai was actually made uh, was laid on siege by yusuf khan and beston and uh, they were not able to get their provisions from pondicherry which at the end led them uh, to stop the siege and they raised the siege and went back to pondicherry and again lali had failed to attack chengalpattu where yusuf preston and calicut were uh, actually defending they'd never know that actually they were there and uh, they were much superior force but they left their point and went to pandicherry now yusuf was uh, awarded uh, for his uh, bravery for saving the british during this very critical time and uh, now he became officially the governor of both madurai and uh, tirunelveli and he was uh, told that he will be paying 6 lakh per year for the next 3 years for being the rentership of uh, this after hearing this Uh, nawab actually felt sick on uh, because he was not able to do anything on this topic because the british were very strong on yusuf side and they were not ready to do uh, uh, any help for the nawab to in order to get rid of uh, mohammed yusuf khan uh, there was one person called as uh, mufsar beg was a partition of uh, kanjipuram who jumped his side from the british to the french side and when calicut and yusuf were going back south they caught uh, this person and he, as he said traitor yusuf khan personally executed or beheaded him and uh, then he went back to his own town now on the way to tirunelveli uh, he has to go via tirchi and the people who joined him on the way from the south wants to separate on their own with the uh, with the money they have looted from kanjipuram and uh, sit- and from the uh, french people and uh, yusuf khan was on his way towards uh, tirchi 
and he had nothing left because most of them have left his party and in trichy he there was a very important event which happened between him and nawab which was uh, all which was word by mouth which was not recorded properly it was told that he was so furious that he was about to kill the nawab and uh, both of them had a very bad episode during this time and it was only in captain smith who had a record on this incident and uh, even i'm not quite sure that whether it happened but this was again a build up of the uh, problem between both uh, nawab and yusuf khan which which was clo- slowly growing into an uh, bigger issue and now yusuf khan has become the governor of um, of uh, madurai and uh, tirunelveli and he started to be more independent on himself which was starting to be a big problem he had his own army garrison he made his own gunpowder and he was in touch with uh, the dutch in nagapattinam and with the danes in uh, trankobur which is in part of kerala and uh, he got arms from them without the uh, support of the company or even informing the company that he is getting from them and uh, it was also a little bit of uh, an expeditions against uh, a lot of small uh polygars around tirchi and around madurai and then really without the uh, support of the company so he went on his own for a many in many cases he even ravaged etaipuram and uh, he brought down kattabomman and uh, pulitheven and uh, he, he he wanted to uh, go on on his own in many cases and uh, he went all the way to king of uh, travangur and made a truce with him and he wanted uh, mahfuz khan to be T- turned over to him and uh, was waiting for a uh, lot of things to happen but he did many things on his own independently which was leading to of him more detaching from uh, whatever was happening against uh, the against the company now there was one incident which was very important he again gave back kalkar to the king of uh, trivangur and nawab referred this saying that he wanted the support of king of trivangur when he want to become an independent uh, part of uh, tamil nadu which uh, was not good and then was start of his downfall he laid siege on uh, pulitheven's fort in vasudevanallur and uh, because of shortage of ammunition he has to lift his uh, siege this was the only incident i ever read where uh, yusuf khan faced an uh, defeat and uh, this was the first time he started to see his downfall and uh, being being so much of uh, a loner and want to be more independent so meet you on on the next episode